So another quick reference is about SADL. It's nothing but service adaption definition language. It used to expose the above CDS views as OData servers. So normally if you have a CDS view, I want to create an OData servers on top of it without making any SEJFDU project, then this methodology will help. And this method methodology uh, simplifies the OData service development based on CDS views. So same like you don't want to make anything in SEJW like create an entity, entity type or set. It just create an OData service on top of the CDS view directly. And it combines the CDS views with OData annotations to create the OData servers. Uh, another option or another points about SADL is SADL generates the required OData artifacts to generate or to execute the OData servers for the CDS views based on the CDS view design. And SADL generates the metadata, runtime object, and service definitions. Everything once you generate or once you create the OData service on top of CDS view, SAD, SADL will take care of it. And to make use of this, you need one annotation in your CDS views, nothing but OData publish true. So once you have this annotations, then it automatically you can you are able to I can say not automatically you are able to create the OData service on top of your CDS views. So if you create, uh, if you see the create process, then it's pretty simple. Just create a CDS view and include the OData annotation. OData publish as true and the SEGW transaction is optional. Uh, on top of CDS views, you do, you you have you want to do any additional data manipulation, then this step is required. Otherwise, directly go to the maintenance service, means register your auditor service transaction, and you can register your uh, service. So here the service name is nothing but CDS view name underscore CDS. So in the uh, search option, in the system allies, you can give whatever uh, relevant system name, system allies name, or you can say local. And then next to the technical service name is nothing but your CDS name star. If you press enter, it will list out the exact CDS view name as well. So this is the way you have to register it. Okay, so uh, this is the usage of SADL. It is simply convert your CDS views as an auditor service. Uh, without without having any SEW project. Okay, so hope this might be useful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.